Hey folks, how you been doing? Your old pal, Dash B here. And today I wanna to give you another arcade tip. This one is actually about how to remove paint from a cabinet that has been, uh, had the original artwork painted over. So couple caveats with this. Um, what works for some things may not work for all things. So I would recommend whenever you try something, pick an area of the cabinet, um, maybe even closer to the corners or the tops or the sides. Pick some area, maybe even in the back, where you're going to notice it less, and do a test sampling on a small area first. Uh, there were many different ways to get art on cabinets back in the day. Some are uh, vinyl artwork that is applied. Some have a plastic coating uh, over that that protects it. Some are printed directly to the material. Some are actually printed directly onto the cabinet uh, itself. So you always want to try a little bit because what works here for my NBA Jam that I'm going to show you may not, for example, work with, say, APB. So just be careful, take your time, and I'm going to show you how you can uh, take the paint off uh, sometimes with a little bit of citrus strip, naphtha, and some plastic razor blades. You might also wanna get yourself a little hand scraper, uh, or you can get a wider plastic paint scraper. You don't wanna use metal. Uh, metal's gonna damage your artwork and your cabinet as you go, but if you use plastic and you don't apply a ton of pressure, should come off fairly easy and save you a ton of time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, I find it easiest to uh, use a roller to apply. If you're doing this indoors, uh, what's nice about the citrus strip, still nice and good idea to open the window and maybe have a fan going, but the fumes in this, you're just gonna smell oranges and stuff. This is supposed to be non-toxic, but I would still read the instructions, be careful, formulas uh, and safety can vary over time. Um, but literally, you might wanna use a bigger roller than me, uh, but, uh, Put something down to protect your floor. And you don't want to go fast with this because this will fling and fly everywhere. But you want to give it a generous coating. Go ahead and be nice and generous with that. Get as much on there as you can. Air on the side of going thicker with it. You don't really want to do uh, thin. You really want to make sure to get a nice good dollop on there. So don't worry about going back over the art, uh, the technique that I'm gonna show you. You're gonna wanna apply in several stages. What you're gonna do is you're gonna apply the citrus strip. Then you're gonna wait to about 30 to 45 minutes. And then you're gonna come back and you're going to scrape with a razor blade and that will, a plastic razor blade, and that will get a majority of this black paint off, depending on how many layers there are underneath and how thick the citrus strip was that you used. Then, you're going to wipe with some naphtha to get the remaining citrus strip and loose paint off. And it's not gonna look very nice the first time that you do that. It's gonna look still like a total mess, but you'll start to see the, the art. Then you're gonna get your roller out and you're gonna do another layer of citrus strip. And after that second layer of citrus strip, you're gonna let it sit another 30 to 45 minutes. This is not something that you want to rush. Now again, don't do the entire cab. Again, don't do the entire cabinet until after you've tested in a small area to make sure that you're not going to damage the art. I'm gonna go close to the edge and I'm not actually going to, I don't wanna peel off the rest of this. I just want somebody painted over this for some reason. It might be that there's graffiti underneath. It might be that there's extensive color fade or damage to the artwork. We don't know. 
but I'm willing to find out what are they trying to hide. Sometimes they just had a little bit of fade and they didn't like it and they will go and actually cover up the entire cabinet rather than deal with the fade. I personally don't mind the fade. All right. Now, you don't have to worry about the coverage being even. Um, the relative same thickness is okay. The thickness of the citrus strip will determine the strength and the amount of paint that gets dissolved. Uh, you'll notice that I didn't really mind going over the label. That's because I've already done the other side, which I'll show you in a moment. And I know that there's a protective plastic coating between uh, the artwork that's actually under the paint and the artwork itself. So um, I can do several passes across this and it will be just fine. But I'm gonna leave this for 45 minutes and see what happens. Now, when we're done, this is the other side, which I've already done with a couple passes, three, four passes of citrus strip, followed by wiping it down with naphtha. You can definitely see there was some kind of maybe stickers here or something on here. Somebody wrote a bit of something there. I don't quite know what it is. I can't make it out. I do have a couple more passes to do on the bottom to clean up and get the remainder of the paint off. Um, but I think that that looks way better than just a flat black. In fact, they even use like a textured paint. I'll see if I could show you. They use like a textured paint that's really kind of like gritty and nasty. So we're gonna let that sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'll set a timer on my phone. And then when we come back, I'll show you how to go ahead and remove that, at least the first pass. And then once I show you what you do with the first pass, it's literally wash with naphtha, wipe down, and then repeat until you get all of it off. And then you end up with something that looks more like this. So maybe some fade, right? But... Uh, if you don't like it, once you've cleaned it off, especially because I don't have the textured paint on there, the next step actually could be to replace uh, the existing art package with a brand new one that looks quite a bit better. So I think in this case, it's good enough. I'm going to keep it the way that it is once I get the paint off. All right, we're going to be back in 45 minutes. Here we are an hour later, and you are not seeing things. It actually looks like the... Um, citrus strip is gone but it's not you can still see a bit of it down there but what's happened is it is absorbed into the paint so now the paint is going to become this really jellish kind of pasty uh soupy um much easier to take off now you might grab paper towels and start uh cleaning off here but here's something that's going to be even more effective you take a plastic razor blade and you fix it into one of these uh, little thumb razor blade things. Watch this, check this out. I'm just gonna come right in and I'm going to go upward with the, not a lot of pressure, come in at a bit of an angle. I don't wanna dig into the cabinet, I just wanna peel up the paint. And look, notice that it just comes straight off. Now you might want to make, you might wanna use gloves when you do this, I'm kind of bold, so I'm just gonna go for it. This outline here is a basketball, so you may not be able to see. I take a paper towel and I just grab the excess paint off of there, but uh, it's coming right up. You're gonna see it a little bit as I come here. There's more orange here. We'll come up, you can start to see the texture of the basketball under the original paint. This is going to be, this is kind of thick, so I think I'm going to need a couple, couple coats, couple passes, but it should be able, should be able to get the job done. Looks like it's going to get the job done. 
come down a little bit. I'm gonna show you down here. I think you'll be able to see it a lot better. This is uh, kind of, if those of you that don't know, this is kind of like a basketball pattern. Right here is kind of the cross hatch of the basketball, so not the best place uh, really to kind of show you this, but here you should see a lot more orange come up. You see that orange just come right up. This is gonna be the black line, and then this is gonna be more orange. You'll see that come right in there, right into the picture. Look at that, just come right in. Oh, I want to be a little bit careful. I did catch a little bit of the side art there. It's all right, I'm just gonna be extra careful when I get around that spot. I think that was probably already damaged and it just caught the blade as I'm coming up. I can touch that up with a little bit of black. The first time, don't get impatient. You're gonna to have to do a couple passes with this. And that's okay. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it the first try. But check that out. Check that out. We're going to try it. Next, we're going to come up to the top here and watch. I'm going to go for that top. And let's see how much of this top we can get. Look at that Midway logo. Why, why, oh why would you cover that up? What were you thinking, whoever painted this? Look at that. You gotta be careful, because there is a scratch there. But it's in the black area, so I should be able to touch that up just fine. This one's gonna need a couple coats and a couple of passes, I can tell. It's a lot thicker down here for some reason. It's a lot thicker. It didn't really soften up much there, but I got it softened in other spots. Look at that orange come up. Now, in a moment, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the naphtha, which is a varnish and thinner. We sometimes use that to clean our pinball play fields. I'm gonna show you what it'll do on this. Be careful, you don't, you don't want really, you don't want the razor to be taking the paint off. You really just want it to move that, the paint turns into this like sludgy stuff. So you really just want it to kind of lift that off. The blade isn't really doing, the, it's the, you let the citrus strip and the naphtha do the work, not the blade. The blade is really just, um, you'll go through 8 billion pounds of paper towels if you just try to wipe this off with paper towels. So that's why we're using the razor blade to kind of take care of this in a much, much easier manner. Okay, so now that's, that's good enough. That's good enough for now. I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back and redo the sides and stuff like that, but check this out. Watch what, watch what I'm gonna do now. Paper towel. Naphtha. You want to be careful, you don't want to get naphtha all over your floor. You don't want to get it all over your hands. You may want to wear gloves, have windows open, have a fan going. The citrus strip isn't so bad, but the naphtha can be kind of intense sometimes. But watch this, watch what happens. I do see that it looks like 
Somebody wrote, I am, and then there's a big giant G. I think I know what some smart-ass hooligan back in the day wrote on here. But here's what's really cool. Fortunately for me, the citrus strip took off the paint and that hooligan's graffiti there. So whatever it was that he was trying to say is erased from history. Now, your mileage may vary. Sometimes, like on the other side of this cabinet, there's a bit of graffiti that fortunately is illegible, but that graffiti is um, not able to... Uh, that graffiti is not able to um, come out because the graffiti actually prevented part of the cabinet from fading. So when I clean the graffiti off the other side, uh, the actual ink and everything, it left behind perfectly unfaded <laughs> um, surface that had the same thing as what the graffiti had. So fortunately it wasn't anything horrible and super legible. So I'm just going to live with it. Check that out. Don't worry too much if you still got some streaks and all that stuff. Another pass of Citrus Strip, another pass of Naphtha, and this is going to come right off. So, You can also take the dry and just try to wipe it. You might be surprised that you might get a lot of it off. Just rotate as you wipe and wipe away. Don't wipe back and forth like this. You're just gonna, it'll start to be clean and then suddenly it'll get dirty again. So just kind of wipe in spots and places that you aren't too, uh, don't revisit the same spots. Don't do something like this. You're just gonna streak it all over the place. Wipe away. And really, I could skip this whole step of the naphtha and I could just hit it again with a simple green. But I like to be able to get a view a bit of what am I dealing with? Do I have a lot of fade? Do I have lots of graffiti? Um, I one time cleaned the cabinet, got the paint off, and I found a giant swastika on it. That person was an asshole. So <laughs> a little bit of plexus took it right off, but kept the original art. So I was happy. That was actually on my Area 51. Usually when you take the paint off, the thing to be careful of, reasons people paint cabs. Cover up fade. Cover up horrible graffiti or vandalism cover up seriously damaged side art or uh they just do a re they do a conversion they literally tear the guts out of the cabinet they put all new artwork on it um and then they make it a different game so in this case it looks like some vandals uh took and um made some non-nba jam appropriate graffiti and the owner was trying to cover it up. All right, excellent. We're gonna use more citrus strip and I'm gonna be very generous with the citrus strip. Very, very generous, because this was Intensely difficult, actually. So I'm going to go very thick on this. You don't have to worry too much about the artwork on this particular one. I already tested it, and there's a little bit of a, you can't tell, but there's a little bit of a uh, this is printed artwork that is then fixed onto the cabinet. So it's printed, and then there's a coating on top of the printing, and then it's adhesively attached to the cabinet. So I'm pulling latex paint 
I'm dissolving latex paint and then pulling it off of the uh, plastic coating that's on top of the original artwork. That's why the original artwork is not getting destroyed. Again, you want to double check with a small area before you go putting citrus strip all over a tab. Because your tab may be different than mine. All right, I am going to put more citrus strip all over this bad boy. All right. Now we just wait another 30 to 45 minutes. All right, let's get back. Let's get back into it. Let's see what we got going on here. Gotta be a little careful here. There's definitely some damage to that side art up there in the corner. Interesting. Some damage right there. That's okay. I still wouldn't paint the whole cabinet black for it. Instead, what I would do is maybe uh, mask it off and do a nice black outline up the side. But I wouldn't paint the whole thing black. This is coming off beautiful now. Got some bolts here that are kind of Interesting to work around. But look at it come right off. Look at it come right off. If you're wondering what I'm doing with all the paper towels, I've got a cardboard box behind me that I'm just piling the, the paper towels into. So I'm not just throwing them on the ground. All right, so now for the finer parts, I'm gonna have to basically uh, get some masking tape or something, and I'll have to very gently, uh, not masking tape, some painter's tape, and I'll put it on there and try to make sure that I can clean all that up. But check this out now. I'm going to hit this with some naphtha, and I have a feeling you're going to see this art transform before your eyes. Let's see what happens. Naphtha, but I just want to get it the sticky stuff off first. See that? That I'm gonna have to hit that with more. Don't worry about this stuff here. It'll seem like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can't get it off. Oh my goodness. I'll just do a one more pass on this with the citrus strip, and all of that'll go away. Now, 
I'm gonna hit this guy. Some more Napa. How clean that Midway logo came. That's beautiful. Why the hell? There was nothing wrong. I mean, yeah, okay, there's some issues here. Maybe some issues here. But you know what? You could easily mask this and do some paint. In fact, actually, here and here, that looks like that's actually how it's supposed to be. So that's not even. I thought maybe that was tape or something like that. But these same markings are on the other side. So that's just the basketball. That's the natural, that's just the natural sheen and shine of however the light hit the basketball. So this side of the cab is in pretty excellent shape, I have to say. Look at that. I mean, I, I can live with this. Especially, yeah, I could I could just fade that. I can get a nice can of uh, spray paint and I can just kind of feather that. There's no reason, there's no reason to paint this can. almost bought a whole new art package for this. Now, don't get me wrong, a brand spanking new high quality art package would look amazing on this cabinet. Do not get me wrong. But, for three to four hundred dollars, I don't know that a new art package, I don't know that I three to four hundred dollars want a new art package, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I kind of like the wear of time on this guy. But look at that. Look how good that's cleaning up. See what I mean by I'm going back and forth with it, like I told you not to. With the naphtha, see, it kind of just like elongates it in terms of the streak. But the cool thing is, once you get to about past two or past three, it stops streaking all over the place as bad. And it ends up being more about whether or not you need to go through and hit it again. Whether or not you need to hit it again with some uh, citrus strip. But this is looking so much better than it looked before, to my eye. All right, let me just take a look over here what we got going on. Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, there's both, there's both damage on this side as well as fade. But what I really like is from the angle that you see my arcade, which is this angle, and all the photos taken on my arcade, which is this angle, this side, there's like zero fade. It's just a bit of a... This is actually fairly 
fairly frequent that you'd see damage in these spots. Usually it's because you got someone here that's playing, right? Someone else is sitting here watching, right? Holding on. You get a lot of wear there. That is pretty goopy there. So I'm hoping that I can get the rest of that off. careful there because I don't want don't want to cause further damage to the kit you see there like if I'm too aggressive with that there I'm gonna end up actually peeling up the artwork so I'm glad that I found that that's about as good as that's gonna get so no more no more citrus strip here I'm gonna leave this area alone later on what I can do is I can mask it off and I can kind of make like a nice black line down here, down the side. I'll make it look like it's supposed to be that way. I'm just gonna clean up very thoroughly around this area so I don't have to come back here with citrus strip. All right, that's about where think where's the damage come in right to here this is where the damage starts to be excellent Dude, I'm super psyched. I was expecting for them to cover the whole thing black. I'm expecting like giant gashes across the midway side, huge distortions all over the place. Like the other side of the cab, the other side of the cab, I'll be honest, is not in as good a shape as this, but I still prefer imperfect original artwork. Over yuckiness. See, it's still a little bit too, still just a little too much yuck over here. I'm gonna need to do, I'm gonna need to do another pass with the citrus st strip. Should be able to get that whole edge. It's turning out. I swear Naphtha is not a sponsor of my channel, but if they would like to be, I'm more than welcome. I will happily, will happily endorse them. Look at that. I can't even believe that. That's amazing. There's a gash right here, but I don't even know if you can pick it up on that angle from the camera. If you're standing back, you can't actually see it. So I think I'm gonna leave this this way for tonight. This right now it is 1130 and I am beat. So still I think that this is a hell of a job. Let me give you a close up. I think that this is a vast improvement over what we had there. The cabinet is not perfect. It's got some issues here. 
but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Not too bad at all. So even if there's some issues down there in the bottom, I'm not even really going to care too much about that. So folks, that's it. If you've got a cab uh, that's been painted over, um, you might want to consider taking that paint off and seeing what's underneath. Worst case scenario, if you don't like what you find, you can always paint it back the way that you found it. Or you can sand it completely down and add a brand new art package to it. So in this particular case, I think this is gonna clean up nicely. So I think this will finish it up for this video. Uh, I'm not gonna wait until it's finished finished to post. I think you guys get a good enough idea of where it's gonna be at already. Uh, I'll show this off in another video um, in its completely finished state. So take care.